Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing or unveiling of my Valentino shoes. Now, this is my first Valentino shoes ever. I saw them online and I just had to have them because they were an amazing price tag. Like, I just couldn't pass up the opportunity. So I did purchase them and they did come in the mail the other day. I did snap you guys on Snapchat. So if you don't follow me, um, you should. But if you do follow me, you would have seen me snap about them. I didn't show you guys, but I kind of teased you with snapping the box and I can't wait to open this with you guys I wanted to actually open this from the second I got it but I wanted to wait so that's what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna be doing the unveiling unboxing first impression kind of thing for the Valentino shoes so if you do want to see what I purchased and my thoughts on it then just keep on watching it is raining by me, so if you hear that rain outside, it's just pouring cats and dogs. It is so bad. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I wanted to share this with you guys. So this is what the box looks like. It is really beautiful. It is heavy, so that's really good, which I kind of expect. And I say it with all my luxury products. I kind of expect that when you are purchasing something of a significant value. I definitely, definitely think it should come in a nice, heavy box. So it definitely does. It definitely delivers. Um... Yeah, it's just really nice. It seems like it's cardboard, but it's like really thick cardboard. Um, and also, if you are giving this as a gift, it's a great presentation. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. So it comes with, I guess, extra shoelaces. So that's good. It comes with, I don't know if this is a card or not. Hmm. It does say Valentino. I think it's just basically about the shoes. Um, and then it comes with this Valentino dust bag, which just says Valentino down here in black and red, which is really beautiful. So that is what it looks like. Okay, so perfect for the shoes. I definitely will be using that. And then that's what it looks like. So what I got was, can you guess? sneakers <laughs> so I actually saw these online I have a hair and it won't leave me alone um, so I saw these online and I just had to get them because I thought they were just so beautiful so that's what they look like mmm they smell like leather oh my goodness I love that smell I don't know do you guys love that smell I love the smell of leather I go to any shoe store and if it smells like leather I'm all about it so I don't care what shoe store it is as long as it just smells like leather but that's what they look like they are all white um, and they have the pink stripe across and then of course they have the studs in the back going around the shoe so that's exactly what they look like they are so beautiful and honestly I feel like they look better in person than actually online because when I started online I did really like them but I was like you know what let me see how it looks in person but in person they just look absolutely gorgeous they do lace up so you can tie them and I'm not really sure where the laces are it's kind of odd um, I think the laces are inside like right here I do see how they want you to lace them up it's kind of awkward because you actually have to go inside the shoe almost which is kind of weird and I don't really like that to tell you the truth I wish it was just like a regular shoelace so that could get annoying I don't even know if I want to pull that to do that I don't even know but whatever so it does say a Valentino up here and it does say Valentino down here. It says made in Italy as well. That's what the bottom of the shoes look like. I hope you guys can see, but it also has all the studs. Do you see that? Like, it's just so beautiful. And it is, um, I would say, textured leather on the bottom of the sole. So this is all textured. So I could see that actually getting dirty fast. And also, this isn't as white as the leather on top. And yeah, it's just really pretty, though. I do like it. Now, these are a size 6, so it's a 36. So it does have the 36 inside here. And it has a couple of numbers in there, I guess, to show it's real. So the leather is really nice. 
Um, I do really like this. I feel like I get a lot of use out of this because they are sneakers and I have younger children so I run around a lot with them. If I'm going, you know, food shopping or something like that, I could just throw these on. And again, I feel like this will go with like anything you're wearing so you don't have to dress this up in any way. It's just like basic sneakers so it looks really nice except it is Valentino sneakers. And it does have the little studs in the back so that gives it a little more flair to it but still being very understated you know no one's gonna really know unless they know what Valentino shoes look like and they know they have these little studs inside it is a leather sole so this is all leather it says a Valentino made in Italy inside hopefully you guys can see that Hopefully you can see that, but it does say Valentino inside. Inside it has like little holes, so maybe that's to let your feet breathe. I'm not really sure. So the whole shoe is leather. Um, It's a leather sole. It is a leather insole. For the price tag of it, it should be leather. You know, that's one thing I always say to myself. I'm like, okay, if I'm going to invest in a shoe, in a very big designer shoe, I definitely want it to be leather because I feel like you get more for your money. And that's what I did with my Chanel Espadrilles. I just feel like when you get leather, you definitely get your money's worth. Um, I do feel Feel like this is a little bunched up here so I feel like this was probably returned like someone probably purchased it and returned it because I don't think it's supposed to come like that so I was kind of irritated when I saw that but you know it happens I guess and that's not enough for me to return the shoe I mean obviously somebody put it on their feet and then returned it either it didn't fit or whatever but it kind of looks like you know where you would tie it like where you would put a tie over here it's just a little bunched up I mean it's not bad I'm not gonna say it's like really horrible but I wish it didn't come like that um if you guys do have shoes like this and yours came like this let me know in the comments because maybe that's just the way they come I'm not really sure this is my first Valentino sneakers or even Valentino anything and they have the stitching going around here and on the shoe you know I feel like this is just a basic shoe that you can wear for a very long time which also is very important to me when I am buying designer shoes or designer anything I don't want it too fashionable at the moment because I feel like you know after some time it might just go out of style I want to purchase something that I know I can still wear even if it's on trend if it's not on trend and all year long and this is one that I can now I do want to purchase some other Valentino shoes my dream shoes from Valentino would be the rock stud shoes I want to get a couple of those I want to start out with flats and then maybe work my way up to like the higher heels because I know if I buy the heels like they're really gorgeous but most likely I'm not gonna wear them that often and like I said I want to invest in products that I know I'm gonna be actually wearing I don't want it to sit in my closet and I did say that in my Louis Vuitton unveiling that I want to purchase products that I know I'm gonna be using in my everyday life so it doesn't mean I'm not gonna invest in high heels I just feel like this is more me and more you know geared towards my lifestyle at the moment so that's why I purchased this and it's just pretty I just love it I love the way it smells because it smells like leather <laughs> but yeah it's just really nice um now this is a little small on me I should have gotten maybe a 36 and a half or a 37 which would have been a size 7 in US because these are European sizes but they didn't have a 36 and a half or a 37 is why I purchased the 36 if they had either size I would have purchased that instead so I would say if you were going to purchase something like this definitely go a size up or even a half size if they do offer half sizes now my Chanel espadrilles are a 37 well this is a 36 and that one is a little big on me like I could still you know see that it's a little big on me when I'm wearing it versus this where it is quite tight so I'm definitely gonna have to wear it and maybe stretch it out a little bit I'm just hoping that I don't stretch it out so much that this leather over here like bunches up on me because once that happens that you're not gonna be able to undo it and I know it's leather and I know it's a shoe and you're gonna walk on your feet so I know you're gonna end up with little marks on them a little bit but you know I just don't want them on there at all I'm kind of worried about that so I don't know we'll see hopefully it works out um, and I also know that this is gonna get dirty pretty fast like I feel like if I wear this a lot it's probably going to get dirty but you can buy kits to like clean them so we'll see how that works but hopefully it will hold up pretty nicely so it's not a lightweight shoe um, it's not super heavy either though I would say 
it's almost like an adidas if you have adidas's you definitely know what i mean so it's kind of like that but maybe a tad bit heavier and this is not leather i just want to mention that i don't know if i did but this seems like it's like a plastic almost i don't know if that's exactly what it is but i will definitely link it down below for you guys i'll let you guys know in the description box what that is i'm going to do my research and definitely let you guys know but everything else is leather and it's absolutely gorgeous i think they're definitely worth the money if you have some extra money to spend they're definitely worth it if you're a sneaker person they're definitely worth it and i did want to let you guys know that this has glazing over here like right here hopefully you can see that like it has glazing right here so it looks like pink glazing and then over here near the bottom where it's the white leather it looks like white glazing it's definitely finished very nicely um so yeah and then it has the little flap back here that is also leather and then the stitching down here which is leather so you can tell they finished off the shoe really nicely it definitely is worth the investment um i don't know how it's going to wear i can do a video update maybe a few months from now so if that's something that you would like to see like the wear and tear of it either give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments i could definitely do that for you guys it definitely is a nice shoe it's a nice sneaker so if you're a sneaker person this is definitely going to be right up your alley even if you're not a sneaker person you might actually really like these because they are valentino and they really are finished really nicely like they are just so gorgeous i gotta say i haven't bought sneakers like this in a really long time that i was absolutely gaga over and I just love these. So I do see myself repurchasing these in gold because I really like that color as well. I just think it's just really pretty. And honestly, if these wear, if they're really comfortable, I definitely would repurchase these shoes or even Valentino shoes in general, like sneaker wise. I definitely would repurchase another pair. I'll definitely show you me wearing these just to give you an idea of what they look like. Okay, guys, this is what they look like on. I do have my Lululemon leggings on. And I'm basically 5'1", 5'2", and that's where they come down on me. So if you guys haven't checked out my spring haul, definitely check that out. I'll link it down below for you guys. But they are just so comfortable. And I feel like they look really good with these shoes as well. And I think when I wear jeans, they'll look really nice with jeans as well. Um, I think you can wear these even with like a skirt or a dress or something like that. So they are white, so you can wear them with so many different things. And they do have some pink in them, so I just feel like this just gives it a little more flair. And that's what they look like in the front. I don't know if you guys can hear, but the rain is just pouring down. So if you guys can hear that, I'm so sorry, but I can't do anything about it. But it's just so bad outside. Um, and that's what they look like on the side and I gotta say they are so comfortable. They're just super comfortable on um, And they do give me a little height. The sole has little studs to them I feel like they do give you a little more height than a regular shoe does and then that's what the back looks like So they have the detailing of the Valentino studs on the back just giving you a little more style and flair The bottoms look like that. I'm not sure if you were able to see them before with the lights but that's what they look like on the bottom so they just have the little studs and it says Valentino so I'm really happy with these shoes I have to say they are just really beautiful on and like I said I'm gonna be wearing them with so many different things I'm gonna get so much use out of them which is very important to me especially if I'm gonna spend that type of money so that is my unboxing of my Valentino shoes so let me know in the comments if you guys have any Valentino shoes and what you guys think about them also about the wear and tear of them and yeah, that's pretty much it for today guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys did like this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe please come join a little youtube family here we would love to have you and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys